So recently I've been on a quest, a quest to find a new daily driver in terms of a computer. Um, I've been rocking for a while now a 2014 MacBook Pro 15 inch and it's fine, but it's also due for an upgrade. And I might buy a new MacBook Pro, but that's for another video because right now I'm exploring the PC world. You know, I did a review on a Dell 15 inch 7577 gaming edition and that was, was a fine computer, but it had its quirks that I wasn't too happy about. So in front of me, I have my next try at the PC world. This is the Alienware 13 inch R3. I actually basically bought this from Trevor. Trevor bought this several months ago and he was enjoying it, but I ended up trading him another MacBook Pro for it. So I have this computer today. We're gonna go over the specs. We're gonna benchmark it after the intro. So like I said in front of me, I have an Alienware 13 inch R3. This is rocking an i7 7700HQ processor clocked at 2.8 gigahertz. It comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD, it's a M.2 drive. There's no 2.5 inch hard drive bay or anything in this computer. It's a relatively small computer in all honesty. The GPU is an Nvidia 1060, obviously not the highest end GPU, but something that's gonna be really good, especially for what I need this for. So all in all, specs are pretty modest. Now. In terms of price, I think Trevor said he got this for about $1,800 and I'm trying to find the same config online and I am having some trouble doing so. If I go on Dell's website, it seems like the highest end Alienware 13 inch you can get right now only comes with an i5 and a NVIDIA 1050 Ti. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm thinking the Alienware is gonna be upgrading this computer on the sooner side although I could be wrong about that, but that is besides the point. You can still buy these used. I have seen them on Amazon um, with this similar config. Pricing, I'm not even gonna mention just because it's kind of all over the place. Regardless, if you have a similar config, looking at a similar config, how does it actually perform? So jumping into the performance benchmarking, we opened up Synbench and I first ran OpenGL. On OpenGL, I pretty much got an average of about 80 frames per second. At one time, I did get 86 frames per second, but I never could repeat that. So all in all, you're looking at about 80 frames per second, which is relatively respectable for this GPU. In terms of the CPU, again, on Synbench, I got a respectable score of 706. Now, I will say, this computer, in the BIOS, there is a performance mode you can turn this computer onto. It's gonna spin up your fans really loud. It sounds like a freaking hair dryer, but I did improve my score and it was about 723, 724. So not a huge speed improvement there, but a speed improvement nonetheless. Although I don't use this in high performance mode because like I said, it sounds like a hair dryer. Uh, and again, just to mention, with that performance mode turned on, I didn't really notice any difference in terms of the GPU score. It really did stay the same. So moving on in Geekbench, uh, we ran this about five times, came up with the average, and the score I wanna show you is in the single core, 4,519, and then multi-core, 14,456. Now running this several times, there's a couple times, you know, the single core score got a little lower, but the multi-core score got a little higher, so it's kind of teeter-tottering around. But all in all, that's the score I got. Again, relatively respectable, especially for this small package. And moving on to our final synthetic benchmark, the Heaven benchmark, which is becoming a little more popular these days, I think. So the average frames per second was 62 Point two. This was consistent across the board. I ran this about four times. The score overall was 1,566. We had a minimal frames per second of 15. I don't know why so low there, but maximum frame rate 
of 135 frames. Again, definitely not bad. So all in all, with those basic benchmarks, honestly, I was relatively happy with the performance I'm getting out of this machine so far. Something hugely to note about this machine is the cooling. It does phenomenal in the cooling department. No thermal throttling whatsoever. Really happy about that. Can't say that about my uh, MacBook Pro on the other hand. So those are the synthetic benchmarks I wanted to run on the Alienware 13 R3. If you're interested in doing some gaming benchmarks, running some actual games, running the scores, seeing what frame rates you get, let me know in the comment section below and I'll start working on that. All in all, for the size, definitely outperforms my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Anyway guys, let me know what other tests you'd like me to do on this Alienware. What would you like to see with this computer? Do you have this computer? Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking to make this my daily driver. However, it's hard to get away from Mac OS X with Final Cut Pro for my video editing. So I don't know, we'll find out in the next video or probably not the next video, but in a future video. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next one.